long time no see, long time no hear, but I'm here now. So good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever it is, wherever you are. All right, guys, so this may be a video that's a little ahead of its time because this is my Father's Day video. I'm gonna show you guys most of the things that I got my father. I'm skipping the Mother's Day video for now because a few things that I ordered my mom isn't here yet. Um, so that video should be like next week, even though Father's Day is before Mother's Day. Well, no, even though Mother's Day is before Father's Day, I'm doing this first because I have the majority of my father's stuff now. However, I still may add a few things to my Father's Day um, basket. So, Father's Day. We may, me and my brothers may go out to my dad's house because he has like a, a like, like a lake in his backyard and you can fish and everything. So by the time June comes, I'm pretty sure it'll be hot enough to go fishing and stuff. So we may just go out there and fish and everything. So with the basket, I also may make like lasagna because he likes my lasagna and like other dishes to take out there. He's like 45 minutes away. So let me show you guys how I'm going to set up his basket. Now, keep in mind, it's other things I may add in this basket, but these are just basically the snacks that I know he will eat and open. Okay, so I basically have this flat wicker basket and it's a, not, it's a pretty nice size. I was actually gonna use this for my Mother's Day basket. So whatever, my dad's, he's probably gonna give this back to me anyway. So I'll just give my mom another, any, some type of basket, I don't know. All right, so I have the blue confetti paper. So I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to stuff the whole basket with this confetti paper. What I'm going to do is get some of it just so it can look a little pre pretty, not, not too girly, <laughs> but I'm gonna pull it apart, make it a little more big. So I'm gonna put this in the front and around the edges because I have pretty, I have a, these snacks are a nice size. So I'm just gonna lay the snacks like from the front coming up to the, from the back coming up to the front of the basket. And I just need the confetti paper around the edge and see. All right, so if you guys love these shopping haul videos, if you guys love um, Easter basket making videos, um, any type of gift basket making videos, I have tons of them for you. So go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you're still here now, go ahead and subscribe. I mean, because you're here for a reason. You didn't click off yet, so I think I deserve a subscribe. All right, so what I'll start off with is, I usually start off with the big, the bigger things. Even in, in my kid baskets, I'm not done with this one. This is just another uh, Minnie Mouse basket that I'll be putting on my Etsy shop probably tonight. I have to get a few more things, but my Etsy shop, my Instagram, all of that is will be in the description. If you're watching on an actual desktop, my links are up there in my in my actual YouTube banner thingy. You guys, the the cover photo. You know how they have like the little Instagram links and stuff that you can just click on. But nevertheless, the, all of my links are always in the description. So you guys can also go uh, check out my Etsy shop because I make all types of gift, bas gift baskets. Okay, so, okay, my dad is a manly man, okay? Nothing more, nothing less. He is a man, like a real man, all right? Like all that, fishing, hunting, barbecuing, um, just all that stuff, okay? Even gardening, he has a garden. So these are, I don't know if he's gonna like this brand or this flavor, however, these are pork rinds, pork skins. Okay, so I was in Walmart and I just got these. I hope he likes the brand. So since this is so big, I'm just going to, this, this will, I always start with the bigger things in the back of the baskets, then I work my way up to the smaller things. Um, I actually may put, some more paper confetti in the front so it won't so it can kind of stay there even though the other snacks may keep it there 
but I'll put some more paper confetti in the front so it won't like slip down. Okay, what is the next biggest thing? Okay, so the next biggest thing is actually this and no, it's not liquor. I was in Deerberg's, if you're from St. Louis, you are familiar with Deerberg. So I was in Deerberg's and I was actually looking for a 24 pack of water and I saw this like at the top of the shelf and I'm like, what is that? So apparently this is just natural spring water and they actually have a lot of bottles of, of just natural spring water that looks like alcohol bottles. I don't know why, I don't know what the purpose of it is, I don't know, but probably to catch your eye, just like it caught my eye and I bought it. Yeah, but this is just natural spring water. So I don't know, I guess I'll put it, see it's super heavy. You know what? I actually may, I may have to put this directly in the middle of the basket because it's a little heavy. And if I put it on the side of the basket, it's gonna unbalance the basket because it's so heavy. So next we have our um, roasted and salted pecans. He also likes all types of um, pecans and peanuts and cashews and almonds, all that. So I bought these, I don't know if you guys can see. They had honey roasted, but I think he would prefer just regular roasted and salted. So put these here on the side. So I made him a um, gift basket one year. It had like all seasonings and barbecue sauces and all types of like barbecue and cooking stuff. So this one is more like a snack basket. Gotta get the Slim Jams. You cannot make your daddy any type of gift basket without Slim Jams, unless he's vegan or something. My dad definitely is not vegan. So put the Slim Jams there. Is this bottle even does it look like kind of wanted to sit up a little more like that all right what else we have all right we have tony's his name is actually tony so i always get these when i can find them i found these in target so and they actually had i think i showed you guys in the i'll show you at the end of the video they had these and then they had like a pack with like all different types of um other types of candy bars like they had the almond they had the dark chocolate they had the chocolate with the nougat but i just this is if they would have just had the solid milk chocolate i would have gotten that so this this has crumble in it but anyway tony's can't pass up a chocolate bar with that that's that's your dad's name you gotta get that all right so we have some handcrafted potato chips and the brand is Goat Eats and they're like handcrafted potato chips from Russet Certified Idaho Potatoes. <laughs> Had to get those. I wish they would have come in a bigger package at Deerberg's. I may go back to find, see if they have it. Okay, I can't remember if I was in Walmart, Deerberg's or Schnucks. They had a whole container of these in like a big plastic tube, a tub, but all right. So potato chips. What else? All right. So we have sunflower seeds. I don't think he likes ranch though, but that's okay. Um, and then just the regular, I may go back and get some barbecue kind. And then of course the kids, the kids are like, Put a, a, um, a Father's Day card in there for their granddaddy. Does this look right? Let me turn it around. Oh, and I also have ice cubes, ice breakers, gum. He's not too much of a sweets person. Tony's singing. If you guys hear him, he's singing in the tub. So that's what that is if you hear him. This looks nice. Ah, I need a few more things in the front. This looks like a, a nice manly basket that'll come handy. 
during a football game or a boxing game or a basketball game or a hockey game or a baseball game or whatever. Yeah, so I just need a few, I need something right here, obviously. And then I'll put the kid's birth, birthday card. I'll put the kid's uh, Father's Day card that, they, that, that they're gonna make my dad. But this looks nice. This really looks like a liquor bottle. Let me stand up and show you guys. Can you guys see it? This is how I'm gonna arrive at this door. But I'm also gonna have like lasagna and everything. I have to remember not to put cottage cheese in the lasagna. He does not like cottage cheese. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna find something else to put right here in front of this candy bar, or I may actually stand the candy bar up like that. Does that look better? I think it looks better that way. You guys hear Tony singing? I'm gonna to put Tony in theater class. If he keeps up all this dancing and singing, I'm gonna put him in theater. All right, so yeah, that's it guys. So like and subscribe, thank you for watching. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you because YouTube is definitely playing with my watch hours. Come back for the Mother's Day haul and the Mother's Day basket that I'm gonna make my mom. Also check out my Etsy, description is below. Go back and watch all of my other basket making videos and bye-bye. Okay, so. These are Tony's chocolate bars. And I always get my dad this type of chocolate because his name is Tony. But I think I'm just gonna get him this big one instead of all of these because he may not like all of the flavors or the, let's see, let me look on the back. Okay, milk chocolate, milk chocolate with caramel, nougat, dark chocolate, hazelnut chocolate, I don't know. But the miniature ones was, these are, this pack right here is $10, but the big one is five. So I may just get the big one. And I can't find any turtles in Target. So I just got this to put in my Mother's Day basket.